All right, we are making a very spontaneous trip up to the mountains to go fishing for the next couple days. Got my boy Lucas here. He's gonna be joining us. We're actually in his van. This is a 2003 Volkswagen Eurovan. Currently sitting at 327,579 miles. I texted Lucas about this last night and I was like, hey, we're going fishing next two days. We're gonna go camp in your van, got his so, stuff so. ready, and we're right ahead of the mountains. We're like right on the cusp of runoff being over. And hopefully we can catch the fishing right as it's getting hot. There we go. There we go. Good dude. What's up, beast? Let's go, dude. How are you? Good. Alright, so like I was saying, this is a very spontaneous trip. So huge shout out to Sam. We got back from a trip like <laughs> Barely a day ago. Yeah. <laughs> and at last minute, I told him I told him he could take a couple days off. Uh -huh. And then I was like, actually, dude, we're going to go film and fish. Because uh, the, the fishing's hopefully going to be going off. But big shout out to you, dude. Yeah, of course, dude. Should I'm, be fun. I'm ready. Let's head up the canyon. Let's find a campsite. So there's a bush down 75 yards. And they're just smacking at the end of this eddy. Stoked? Oh my god, dude. Let's get it. We just found a campsite here right next to the river and right as we pulled in I mean this place is like a bug factory right now there are bugs going off everywhere even on the bridge pulling into the campsite we saw fish rising um, the water's still high but there's gonna be plenty of spots that we can still fish this is sick we got the van here all rigged up we're gonna get camp set up try to get out for a little bit of fishing before it gets dark. Got back to the van, did a little bit of fishing uh, this evening just to kind of scope the water. I honestly didn't, didn't even think we were gonna fish tonight, but lots and lots of bugs coming off. There's green drakes, yellow sallies, and uh, we even saw some golden stones. So definitely uh, got us stoked for the next two days. And we're gonna whip up some coney dogs. Lucas has a little meal prepared for us because we're starving and it's like 9.30. <laughs> and uh, hang around the fire and then head to bed. So let's get to the kitchen. You don't have two hot dogs, yeah? So, how Lucas and I originally met was uh, at the Red Moose Cafe, which is like my local coffee shop. I was going in there, and I think I was working one day. Yeah, Scotty had been coming into the Red Moose, and I I had thought I had recognized him, but I, you know, I wasn't quite sure. But then one day he was truly wearing a wildfly hat, and yeah, I sat down with him and was like, dude, I've been watching your videos for four or five years now. I was probably a freshman in high school we started chatting and then uh, started fishing we uh, we went out for one of the first times it was Valentine's Day February 14th <laughs> a the, lovely Valentine's Day day the middle Provo <laughs> and holy shit, did we have a day my junior year COVID hit and that threw a total loop in 
in everything, in my world and a lot of people's worlds, but I just, I couldn't do school during the COVID times. It was the, the out of classroom did not work for me. I chased the girl out here. I was uh, four years in a relationship and, and this was sort of the next step. She, was, she decided she wanted to take gap year out here. So I said, you know, I'll, I'll do the same. Let me, let me take this rig this old girl and kid her out to be able to explore. And, and that was the real thing that I needed to do was, I needed to get outside. And here we are, baby. Yes, sir. Making Coney dogs. Coney dogs. Okay, here we go. First bite. Oh, I'm so excited. So simple. Cheers to a fun weekend, dude. Mangiare. Boom. morning. You know what time it is? Eight. It's coffee time. Oh. <laughs> Starting out with a beat up golden stone. I'm gonna throw a dropper off the back of this to start out. And yeah, we really don't have a huge plan this weekend. It's just, let's have some fun. Let's find some fish. The rivers are finally low enough to fish. We're getting there. Let's go get it. <laughs> I think we're close. Let's keep going. Good fish. Cody. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. On the drive. Just started. Let's get it. Dude, dude, see that? Let's walk up, there's too many hydraulics. I'm gonna look at the map really quick. Make sure this comes back. Oh! Had a little lunch, took a break. Uh, slow morning fishing. We, uh, we found a couple fish, but I, I should say Lucas found a couple fish. But yeah, it was definitely slow. There were, there were some bugs out, there were some salmon flies. We're gonna go upstream, hope we find some better water. And we'll see y'all up there. Dude. Literally, we pulled up here for Lucas to use the restroom, <laughs> and I threw one cast in. I was like, yeah, we're not even gonna bring the camera. It was first cast. First cast. Oh. And we caught this sick cutty.
That looks kind of tasty. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw this. The bend? Yeah. Yeah, let's check that out. This, this browner cut, I can't tell. See him right here? Oh, nice, dude. It's just oh, a sweet shot. He's just been oh, doing this for like the last two minutes. Dude, he's sipping. Yeah, he's just running. We got this cutthroat eating here on something really small. So we just downsized. We were running real big stonefly, chubby patterns, you know, size six. This is like 16. Because um, he's eating small and quick. And we're gonna see if we can't. Can't line him up. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that was you. Dude. I'm sinking in quicksand. <laughs> You're doing the splits. Oh. oh no! At the bank. Oh no! Well, <laughs> it was a cutthroat. <laughs> Look at this, you got him to eat, dude. Yeah, Here's we some. did got that. That was sick. Oh my god, I got to eat. I saw him eat too, and I was like. Filming with the 400 millimeter lens right now, and I was like, "Oh yay! Oh my God! It looks as fly!" <laughs> I'm sick. Lucas, unfortunately, just missed that fish, but that was so cool to sight him, switch flies, downsize it, and then he came up and smoked it. We're gonna work through this little meadowy section that we found. It's kind of off the beaten path a bit. Try to find some of the sneaky water, and hopefully these fish are still biting. Oh, dang. Dude, they're munching the stone fly. These fish right now are sitting pretty deep. And they're eating the stone fly on the bottom. I haven't really had anything come up for the dry. But the stone fly down low seems to be doing pretty good. Come on, eat it again. Yep. Oh gosh, that was another good one. There it is. Brownie. Oh, right into the net accidentally. Look at that. Nice brownie. Send him on its way. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice brown. Phew. Very sweet fish. Look at that. Ain't bad. See you all. This might be good, I know. There he is. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Did you see that, that yes. chubby dude? <laughs> he just took it under. Tunk. Flew under. Caught tea. No, brown. This is a brownie. Yeah. Nice, bro. Nice. Such good light, dude. See you, buddy. 
You, come on. You were just like, go downstream at back eddy. And I did. And you were telling me to hold, hug, you know, hug inside seam on one end. And this little four inch cutthroat, you know, same size dry fly as this, five times. Bah, 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 bah. It, you know, I can't, can't actually fit in his mouth, but right. it just kept doing it. I was like, all right, little guy. Dude, that's so funny. Oh! He ate the chub. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, there yeah. He is. Yeah. See you, guy. Oh my god. Boom! Yes! Yes, dude. Oh! Did he come off? He came off right as you netted him, dude. Love that. Sick! Guy. Oh, dude, that was so awesome. That was perfect. Hell yeah. Great way to end this little session right here. Yeah, man. Should we just head back to the van? Yeah, let's get some dinner. Let's get some dinner. Yeah. Woo wee! Really quick, what are we chefing up right now? Basically, you know, red sauce with hot Italian sausage and some uh, pappardella. The best noodles for it. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it's pretty simple, actually. Yeah, let's go. So Lucas and I met at the coffee shop for the first time, and he actually works in the kitchen there. He had this little recipe he wanted to show us, and um, I put him in charge of the food because if it was up to me, we'd be we'd be probably eating food out of a bag. We needed just a little bit of fuel before the evening hatch starts going off. Fishing's been getting better progressively throughout the day. So this is the fuel we need for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Kill him? There's like just enough spice. Right. Bugs are starting to go off and things are about to get crazy. So we have a full meal in our bellies. Now, let's see if we can catch some rising fish. Dry fry eater. That was a sick eat though. That was so loud. Oh, come on, dude. Not bad catching fish with literally you can see camp right now, so. That was pretty rad. This has got to be one of the craziest hatches that I've ever seen. I mean, I'm like just surrounded. I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up, but there are flies. Everywhere. That is the magic bug right now. There's thousands and thousands of them going off. It's crazy, so. Let's see if we can't match the hatch, as they say. Incredible sunset. We're just walking down. You're gonna hit one more hole. Look at the clouds in the valley right here. Just how quiet it is. It's like incredible. It's like 9:15. Fish are eating dry flies. Sun setting. Pink's out. We love it. Oh. Damn it, dude. I saw 
saw him rise like right on the bank and just threw it up on his nose. There it is. Last hole of the day. Found a little dry fly muncher. I can barely even see this fish. It's almost dark out. I'm gonna let him go. Thanks for playing, buddy. Got him on the golden stone. I mean, we saw so many bugs tonight, and uh, that's a cool way to wrap it up. So, we're gonna head back to camp, and uh, I don't really know what else to say. We're going to camp. Scotty and Sam left me. They went downstream because I was just having a one on one with this cutthroat. <laughs> and he was underneath a total cut bank edge. It was not cut bank, but, but brush. <laughs> and I was casting at him for 20 minutes probably. And then Scotty and Sam left. And then for the next 15 minutes, I kept going for him. Switched out from a yellow Sally to just one itty bitty <laughs> freaking high viz, I don't know something and it caught on the tree i was just dangling the rod it dropped and immediately he just went bop and <laughs> now i'm at camp because i'm done for the day <laughs> what a way to end it what a way how did you guys fare i got a fish yeah <laughs> i got one to end it out Sweet. it was good yeah it was cool Being able to get out and do these things, you know, it prepares you for your next week of work. You know, I feel so ready to just grind out another week and then do the same thing next week. With a friend or without, you know, doing it solo can be sometimes one of the most healing things that you need for yourself sometimes, where you just need that space and time to think and process. And then you're sitting in a beautiful place with beautiful people and friends and, and you're just like, there's nothing better. Truly, there's nothing better. This is my second summer here in Utah. And one of the things I feel like I really missed out on last year was spending the time and getting to know the fisheries here in my new home state. I got to do a bunch of traveling last year. I got to go to the BBIs with the boys, got to go to Alaska, got to do a bike pack, all this traveling. Um, but all that to say, I didn't get to really spend time here on these local waters and now I get to call home. And although those big trips are exciting and they're epic and they're these really big missions and uh, you get to see a new place, I think these, these spontaneous local trips, the places that we all get to call home, is a special thing. And it doesn't have to be a big crazy adventure for you to go out and have a, a really fun time. So this summer I'm very much looking forward to that, really spending some time here in the West and especially in Utah and getting to know the area, getting to be in a position to be on the river when bugs are hatching. The last night or two we've had some incredible dry fly fishing that if I was at home sitting behind the computer, I would have completely missed. Got him, boy. There it is. Oh, dude, look at the red on it. Dude, Stonefly is just putting in some work this weekend. It's a good time of the year when you can throw a big Stonefly as your nymph and throw a chubby. That's when you know it's summer fishing. Let's go. All right, everybody, we're gonna end it here. We had a great little last minute send to the mountains. Uh, we're beat two days 
pretty hard fishing. Pretty hard fishing. But shout out to Lucas in the van. We had to uh, nice, comfortable sleep in here. This is great. A great little vehicle to take to the mountains. So my my car is currently MIA with the Tapui right now. It's it's in the shop. So we had we took the more superior vehicle for the for the trip. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching. This was a great, great time. And yeah, hope you guys are fishing hard this summer, getting after it. So see you guys in the next one. Before you guys go, I do have a quick announcement. Uh, some of you know, we have been busy filming and traveling and fishing this summer. So we've got a lot of really exciting videos coming down the pipeline this fall and winter. Um, we've also got some exciting uh, live events, uh, it's a cool merch drop, and we're gonna be celebrating 10 years of Wildfly this fall. So in order to hear about that and be the first one to hear about that, we actually have a newsletter where we send out emails, uh, announcements about all this. You get early access to all of our merch drops. You get to hear about these events before anyone else. And you get to hear when new items come back in stock, like this hat right here and this hoodie we finally got our hoodies back in stock and the best part about it all is it is free so you just go to our website wild-fly.com and when the pop-up comes up you just type in your email and you're gonna get sent a 10 percent discount code for your first order and on top of that for all of you who sign up for the newsletter here in the first week we're gonna be giving away five onyx memberships full year elite memberships it's like a 99 dollar a year membership Onyx is our number one tool for planning out fishing trips, discovering new water to fish, and downloading offline maps. So we're going to be sending that out to five of you who sign up. It's kind of a win-win, and we don't spam you with emails. Like We're not going to send you guys a ton of emails or anything like that, and you can unsubscribe at any time. So uh, go to wild-fly.com, subscribe for the email list, and yeah, we've got some really exciting things coming that you're not going to want to miss. So see you guys in the next one.